so everything is looking fine storage is fine we didn't that's fine text we didn't give so now i will launch it so it's telling there is no key pair so I, what i will do i will create a new key pair and i'll give some name elb or to scaling elb it of scaling i know the spelling is not correct but i will just use this i will download it and then launch the going forward we will use the same key elb auto scaling now let's see what is the status of the instance initializing it's in pending state so let's pause the video for some time till this instance is launched now as you can see the status checks are going on so it's first doing status checks and then instance status check system and instance status checks so as i already told in the previous lectures that system and status checks will look at the hardware level if everything is fine and instance status checks will take care of the software and network configuration so if these two tests are passed um, then the instance will be in healthy state so let's wait for some time still the status checks are not passed what's going on now as you can see the system status checks and instance status checks both are passed so now we can connect to this machine let me get the password i'll use the key decrypt the password now download the remote desktop file and connect i am able to connect to the server since i have allowed rdp port from everywhere now let's do one thing we will create an image out of this server so that we can use this customized ami for further users in auto scaling so let's see if the web server role is installed as we bootstrapped the code for it let's wait yeah it's installed this web server role is installed and let's see if we are able to access the default page so what i will do is i will just take the public dns of this server and i will hit it on the browser yes uh, we are able to access the default web page now um, as as i told already we will create a image out of this server and we will use that image for launching multiple instances that will be a customized image so let me let me open ec2 config service here we have so what i will do is i will run a sysprep the sysprep will remove the sid and unique uh, properties of this server it is used for creating image so that we can launch multiple instances using this image so here I, I will have to provide some password so going forward we will not have to use that particular key we can use this password so what i'll do i'll just specify some password so i have given some password you can also give password of your choice now i will shut down the server with sysprep so the sysprep will take some time to complete 
till then i will just pause the video now this strip is completed it has it is shutting down the server so my remote desktop session is ended let me refresh see it's stopping the instance so this instance will be shut down in some time after that we will create an image out of this server so let's wait until the instance is stopped so as you can see the instance is stopped so i'll go to actions image and create image i'll give some name to this image elb auto scaling elb auto scaling that's the app name description i'll put the same and everything else is looking fine I'll just click on create image so the image this request is received it's pending it will take some time to create so we will pause the video so as you can see the image is created and it's available now so I'll just go to AMI still it's showing pending status so let's wait for some more time now the image is available as you can see it's available so that's all for this in this video in next video we will use this image and we will create a elastic load balancer and we will create launch configuration and auto scaling group so thank you for listening. Have a great day.